Hey Libra, happy Thursday. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do your collective reading. This is going to be for Libra, Sun Moon Rising, also Venus. Keep in mind that this is a general and that it may not resonate with all of you Libras out there. Alrighty. So let's see what's going on with you Libra. Spirit, please guide me through this reading for the sign of Libra, Sun Moon Rising, also Venus. What do they need to know and hear when it comes to their love life? All right, let's hop into your reading, Libra. Let's see. I'm going to grab some to drink really quick. I'm sorry. Whew, it's been a day, Libra. I'm tired. And it's only like 1 o'clock. All right, let's see. What is Libra's person? What is Libra's person's true thoughts about them? We have the Ace of Pentacles. Let's look into their true feelings. We have the Four of Cups. The communication between you guys, the Sun. What is being hidden from you, the Hermit? Their intentions, the Moon in Reverse. And the potential outcome is the King of Pentacles. So this looks good. Air signs, your readings are looking good. I just finished Aquarius. That was looking really good. Um, and you guys' this reading is looking really good. And we have the World card. Okay, so we have a lot of Leo energy around you guys. Because we have the Sun. We have the Strength card. We have Pisces, Virgo. We have Fixed energy, which is more Leo energy, Taurus, Scorpio, and Aquarius. Did I say Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio? Leo, yeah. So we have the Strength card, Ace of Wands, Reverse. So something was delayed due to somebody not taking action. Okay, and somebody was just holding back for as long as they could, and I feel like now they just can't hold back no more. Okay, somebody is coming out of fear, and they're finally gonna tell you how they feel and what they want. This is somebody that really wants they really want to be with you, they were scared. Okay, not sure why, but I'm just getting like a scared energy because the hermit with the moon in reverse, this is a lot of fear. Okay, and then with the Four of Cups rejection. Okay, so. For some of you, I, they feared you would reject them. But they're going to open up and tell you how they feel anyway. Okay, so. This is going on with Libra. The Libra. All right, let's look into this Ace of Pentacles. So the Ace of Pentacles is usually something long-term. It's tangible, something that can grow. Um, this is somebody planting a seed. Definitely, they want to see growth in a relationship with you. All right, and this is like a solid offer. This is something solid. All right, you guys can be dealing with an earth sign, Toy Virgo Capricorn as well. Let's see why it's Ace of Pentacles here. The High Priestess, okay. And the Sun, a lot of Leo energy. Damn. So this has been on their mind for a very long time, okay? Um, and I feel like when this person thought about it or when they think about it, like, you really do make them happy, okay? Because the high priestess could be somebody that is keeping their feelings to themselves. Like, they're kind of, like, quiet, low-key. They're, like, being secretive or it, they come off as being secretive, but they're just holding all of this in. But with the sun, it's just, like, there's a lot of love, fulfillment, joy, happiness when it comes to you, okay? And... This is somebody that really wants to be with you. They see themselves having a child with you. Some of you guys could be pregnant right now. Um, or will be pregnant. Some of you guys will give birth to a baby next August. Because we have the son here twice. And we have a, um, two, like we have a child on each one. So definitely pregnancy energy. Wait, what's this month? November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. That would be nine months from now. So that means my mom got pregnant with me in November. Because I'm a Leo. Hmm. Okay, mom. All right. So, yes. So, yeah. Some of you guys are going to get pregnant this month. or already are. You're going to find out. Okay? But some of you guys can have twins. Now, for some of you guys, you may have lost one and still pregnant. You're going to think that you miscarried or something, but you're still pregnant. That's what I'm getting. Or there's twins and you're going to lose one, but you're going to have, like, a healthy child. You guys are still going to be happy and move forward. Okay? Um... Yes, yeah, see, there's going to be, so I don't want to dig too deep into this, but for some of you, there's something that happened between you guys, and it kind of threw things off with your body or something like that. Some of you guys could have miscarried and 
or yeah, like Miss Carrie back in August or had like a situation, but you're gonna get either like you're gonna you're about to be pregnant again like right away, or like you were pregnant with twins and lost one. Or it's like you don't know that you're still pregnant or something like that. Or if you guys have like some type of birth control or something happened like that, it's like you're gonna find out you're pregnant. Somebody's gonna it's something about pregnancy around you, okay? Definitely pregnancy. All right, for some of you, not all of you guys, all right. But for others of you with this temperance card in reverse, you guys clashed, but overall, like you like you guys clashed and have your differences, but overall you're somebody that they really want to be with. And you do make them happy, but they fear that you're going to reject them, okay? We have this four of cups here. This is in their true feelings towards you. Um, they know they let you down. They they could have rejected you in the past, you know, um, and had you wondering. But how they're feeling towards you is like they feel like you have, like you're just completely letting go. Like they feel like you've given up. Because the seven of wands are reverse, eight of swords reverse. Like they're like, oh fuck them, it's over. I'm done. I've I've been gave up on that four of cups. Like I ain't about to sit up here, look stupid, and be on my feelings. I'm moving on. So they feel like that's how you guys are feeling. Like you moved on, you didn't gave up, you forgot about them, you don't care anymore. Yeah, some of you guys are guarded. Um, you're pushing them out, not saying nothing. Yeah, you're heartbroken, you're torn. Yeah, some of you guys definitely the empress here, definitely um father figure energy around. So it's like, the, like this is the father of your child for some of you guys or something like some type of pregnancy. But um, that's not going to be for all of you guys. But you guys are really heartbroken and torn. So let's see why is it the authority here, the star and the seven of wands. You guys are healing, okay? But I see that it has kind of been a struggle. It has been hard. But just stay determined. Just like, you know, like healing is not easy. But I feel like, when, like okay so healing's not easy libra but when you start to heal it becomes easier but i also feel like you guys are working through like your shadow like you're you're doing your shadow work or this person like is mirroring you in some type of way because i feel i feel like where you guys are going to come together and it's going to work out but it just is like challenging you guys hit a rough patch okay and to see the sun show up twice in you guys' reading that's very that means something to me Okay, that means that, that better days are ahead. Like, better days are coming. Like, it's going to work out. It's just that you guys are going through some type of up and down. You know, so it's just like it's challenging and testing the relationship. You know, so some of you guys are like, are you really going to give up? Or are they really going to give up? I feel like that's the big question here. You know, why is the seven of wands here? Yeah, some of you guys are just at a crossroads and you just really don't know. And I, that's understandable. Okay. So, it's like and you're also unsure about the future between you guys. And right now, with the stars, like, you're really focused on your healing and trying to heal the old wounds. I feel like you guys are also trying to heal from things that happen outside of this relationship. So maybe you guys are just going through a massive healing right now, Libra. And you need this time right now, okay? So crying is good, all right? If you have to cry, cry, let it out. Because on the Three of Swords, see, there's like rain, look like tears, okay? That's why I named my online shop, My Tears Have Healed My Heart, because I did a lot of crying, but I also did a lot of healing. And when I cried, it helped heal me. Everybody heals differently, okay? But let's see. We have the sun here. So let's see. This is the communication between you guys. Why is the sun here? Justice. Look, you're going to get your happiness, okay? You will be happy in the end. This is your energy, Libra. Some of you guys are dealing with another Libra that was just on some bullshit. But they're going to get their shit together. They are. They don't want you to give up on them. They're going to get their shit together. Ten of Pentacles. They could be about their money right now, but they're going to get their shit together. They don't want to see this relationship crumble. They don't want to see it fall apart. They feel like you guys have been through so much and put so much into the relationship that they don't want to see it fail. Okay? For some of you guys, I feel like they just had somebody else in between the relationship. Why am I saying that for the five of cups? And I feel like they kind of felt obligated to that situation, even if it was like an ex or whatever, but still wanted to build and have something with you. And I feel like they didn't know how to separate the two. And this person is somebody that really loves you and was all into you but just like still kind of caught up in this situation so needed to set some type of boundaries around another situation all right so it, like i said it could be the ex or whoever but they really i feel like they needed to set boundaries okay and now you're gonna get your justice like you're getting what you want the love the attention the happiness the pregnancy whatever if that's what you want like now it's coming now you're getting it but it's, it's coming after a challenging time okay so your person loves you Y'all just hit a rough patch. Okay? It's all gonna work out, Libra. It's gonna work out. I can't see the sign I'm about to send to y'all because y'all are probably unsubscribed. So let me not see. Mm -mm. Let's see. Libra. 
three love messages for Libra. Give me two more messages for Libra. Give me one more message. All right, so the sex is fire. All right, Libra coming through with a good sex. All right. So tying the knot, married-minded, unexpected proposal, long-term commitment. So that's what I'm seeing. I feel like this person really does want a long-term commitment with you. They do want to tie the knot with you in some type of way, whether it's commitment, marriage, committed to this baby, this family you guys are trying to start and build and have. We have taken a risk, so they're willing to take this risk, or both you guys are. I feel like you guys are unsure of the outcome, but it's something new, it's different, and I feel like whatever it is you're, you were wanting or wanted, it's like now they're open to give that to you, Okay. And I feel like for some of you guys, like the sex is fire. Somebody is like a, um, like somebody is very slim, petite, because she's very slim and petite on here. Okay. Um, but this is all about the attraction. It might just be physical, new love affair. But I feel like what's, I, when I see this and dream come true, I feel like you guys are rekindling the relationship. And there's just going to be a lot of sex and like just different feelings between you guys. I feel like that's, that's just what I'm feeling. I feel like you guys are just rekindling the relationship. Okay. And bringing things back together. All right, so let's see. Let me see. Why is a hermit here? This is what's being hidden from you. So you guys can be dealing with a Virgo. I feel like your person needed to withdraw and detach. I also feel like with the hermit and the three of cups. When I see this, I know the nine of pentacles is not here, but when I this energy reminds me of like you guys needed to like be away from each other and enjoy your life, like your social life, your friends, and do something that's outside of them. And I feel like that's and the reason why I feel like that's what's hidden is because I feel like you guys were always around each other with each other, and you guys needed to be your own independent selves and like be with your friends, socialize, have fun, do your thing, and know how to separate from each other without it being a problem or an issue. Like, oh, I haven't saw you in two days. What you been up to? Oh, it's been a week. Like, you know, to where you guys are confident in the fact that, like, yeah, I have friends. I do this. I do that. Everything's not just about us being together 24-7 in this relationship. Because I feel like with the five of wands, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because I just strongly am intuitively picking up friends or somebody being popular or having a lot of friends are like maybe you have a lot of male friends you have a lot of female friends and it like if you guys argue and fight about that you know but somebody is willing to change out with the ten of swords and reverse and the lovers because they want to make changes for this relationship and do what they have to do for the relationship to keep it going but i feel like what is hidden is like this is what kind of separated you guys if it's not that is this outside influences and a lot of blockages of people coming in between the relationship but now you guys are not going to let that happen or this person is not letting that happen. The hermit is like somebody going within and getting enlightenment and seeing it differently. This is like the hermit is like spiritual guidance, but it's also somebody that has gained wisdom. They're wiser. They're maturing. They're growing up. They're seeing things from a different perspective. They're seeing the situation differently. They're understanding your point of view and looking at it from all perspectives. Like they're like, okay, I get it. Now I see why this person felt this way. Now I see why the relationship was feeling because it is. Well, maybe if I didn't have all these female friends and blah, 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 and did this and that, or, you know, maybe if I, you know, did do this a couple days a week and then gave them the rest of the week, like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, what's hidden is I feel like whatever was coming in between you guys, whether it was friends, family, outside influences, blockages, somebody is realizing how much of an impact it had on your relationship, okay? And because their love is so deep and strong for you, they're willing to put that to the side or to give you like more time or I see it as or I see it as you guys understanding that you guys both have lives outside of each other and respecting each other's boundaries and trusting each other enough to know that like okay if I'm hanging out and doing this then like let me be me and let me do me and let me have my friends and have my life but we're a couple we're going to come together and our love is strong and they can't come in between that do you get what I'm saying, Libra? So I see it. I'm, well, I see two different situations here. Okay? So that's what's hidden. All right? Um, let's see. Go on to the moon in reverse. This is in their intentions. Coming out of fear. Something being revealed. Why is the moon in reverse? Better not be nothing crazy. Ace of Cups. Yeah. So their love. Like, see the two of Cups in reverse. They don't want to lose you. They do not want to lose you. You're, they, lo they love you. And they don't want to lose you. Y'all are just going through something right now, Libra. Okay? Um, and I feel like your person was immature, not thinking. 
Let me see. Why is baby pink supposed to be first? I have a cup for you first. Now, for some of you guys, there is somebody around them that they're not in a relationship with anymore, that they could have a child with, that they every now and then have sex with or will messing around with, with the Queen of Wands in reverse, or the Queen of Wands in reverse is like doing spell work, magic and stuff, and trying to come up between you guys' relationship. This can also be somebody that's addicted to divination tarot, trying to come in, trying to like get messages, seeing about the outcome between you and your person and what's going on and what y'all got going on, okay? Um, somebody is using a child as a pawn, you know, trying to, like, they're using a the child as a, oh, do this, do that, do that. They're very manipulative, okay? Very malicious, manipulative. Could be a fire sign. We have Earth Energy Taurus with the higher font. They're mad because this person is moving on with you and choosing to be with you. And they don't want no type of commitment or relationship with them. And they want more than just an open relationship or, you know, just, they want a relationship with them. Let me go back. They want a relationship with them regardless if it's open or not. They want a relationship. And I don't see where your person wants that anymore. But let's see. Going to the Queen of Wands reverse, the higher font reverse. I find this may be the problem. Queen of Cups reverse, the King of Wands reverse, the, the Will of Fortune. So this person is telling them, like, I can't keep hurting my person. So they're telling this person, Libra, like, they can't keep hurting you. What they're doing is wrong. They really do love you. They want something serious with you. I don't find they're going that in debt with this person. But they were giving in to this person. The King and Queen of Wands is both in reverse. They were fucking and doing their thing. Yes. So that is no lie. You know, I don't sugarcoat. Going to the Queen of Cups in reverse. Ace of Swords in reverse. Yeah, this person is telling them, like, I'm making the wrong decision. Like, I don't love you like that. I want to be with my person and move forward with them. Like, what we had is done. It's over. And it just needs to stay that way. Yeah, because I have new love in my life. Two of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. And I feel like they're tired of being this person. The non-committal type of the streets, not wanting to commit and stuff like that. And finally want to commit to you and settle down and start to have a family with you. And this, the Queen of Wands universe is going to be pissed. They don't, this Queen of Wands universe, especially if you get pregnant by them, they don't want you, they don't want them to have another child. Outside of yours, they're going to cause a lot of problems. I mean, outside of theirs, they're going to cause a lot of problems. And if it's a page, that means that their child is the baby or the only child. So when you have a baby, it's going to be a motherfucking problem, Libra. All right? They're going to get mad. So let's see how the King of Pentacles is here. But that's going to be their fault. Tell them to go sit down because you ain't got time. It's not your problem. Why is the um, King of Pentacles here for the potential outcome? The Hermit. Yep, see, look. They're taking a different approach, see? And they talked to somebody about this. They could have went to, like, their father or somebody that they look up to are um somebody that was like guiding them or helping them we have the knight of pentacles in the world card so i like the advice whoever this is told them to think about the long term who do they see themselves really being with long term and like really marrying instead of settling down and being with with the knight of pentacles in the world card who do you see you who do you see being in your life longer who do you really want to be with and have a long-term relationship with they got some advice from somebody king of pentacles the hermit king of swords they got some really good advice okay they talk to an old school, somebody older, somebody mature, somebody that is probably married or got their head on straight, like somebody that's not staring them in the wrong direction, somebody that's not like, oh, yeah, go fuck all the girls, go have hoes, go make babies. No, they talk to somebody that is got their head on straight, okay, somebody older. It might be like their uncle or like a great uncle or their grandfather, something like that. Because we have the hermit, we have the king of swords. This will be somebody that's older, you know. And this is somebody that's also been in their same situation or did the same thing as them. And they're like schooling them and telling them like, look, when I was your age, I did this and that. But blah, 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 blah. So they're educating them, schooling them. I love that, okay. They took them back to school. So, yes, I like this. And they're telling them to think about their future and who they really want to be with and who they see in their life you all right so we're gonna end it here all right pops uncle whoever came through for them and told them something and i thought that somebody that they haven't talked to in a long time and they went to this person and told them i look i'm in a situation and they gave them some good advice okay so let's see y'all let's hop in and pull some oracle message additional oracle messages all right, Libra. All right, Libra. 
we have heartbreak, okay? So you could be heartbroken right now. So for your person. Look, family. Some of you guys, I feel, like I told you, some of you guys really want a family with this person. Or some of you guys had a miscarriage, okay? Or they have a younger child, like a child that's young. And you feel like they're going to choose that situation over you. I'm sorry move on without me. Why is this here? This is a magician in reverse. This is when your person was doing their shit. And they're telling you, like, you know, like, move on without me. But we see that's changed in the reading. You know, are you telling them, like, I'm going to move on without you? I don't have time. But the magician in reverse is somebody that still has all the tools. They're just not manifesting and doing and putting in the work. And now I see that changing. We have masks. We have, I'm facing my karma for hurting you. Yeah. What's this about? Justice. Yep, they learned some type of karmic lesson here. Some of you guys are dealing with another Libra, I'm telling you. Or they have a Libra in their chart or something. Like, well, I know also we have all that. Like, all of us have like our chart is mixed up. But when I say like, well, they have it in their moon horizon. I'm just going to say that. But some of you guys are definitely dealing with a Libra. But if not, it's like you're going to get what you want in the end. Okay, in this situation. King of Swords, I told you, some of you guys are dealing with another air sign. Libra, some of you guys are. You're dealing with a Libra or another air sign. Some of you guys can be dealing with a Capricorn. Or there's a Capricorn around you. Somebody has a Capricorn brother or sister. Hmm. Why did I get that? Somebody has a Capricorn sister. Queen of Pentacles. Eight of Swords in verse. Nine of Cups. But what does this have to do with the reading? So somebody's sibling or somebody that's close to you, Libra, or close to them told, told you by us to like, if you got to move on, move on. But if this is what you want, like, stay strong. They gave you guys some advice. Talk to you guys about it. They helped clear your mind. Helped you out in the situation. Or it's like you went to this person about what was going on with you. And you guys, like, finally had to talk about this. Like, maybe this is not something that you usually talk to your sibling about or they talk to their sibling about. It. All right? I'm coming back. Please don't leave me. And social media. Okay, why is social media here? Yeah. Somebody doesn't want to, somebody doesn't want people on social media to know that you guys are having problems or broke up. It says, I'm sorry, I hurt you. Okay, so somebody doesn't want what is okay? Sorry. That was my kid's school. Yeah, so it's like something, um, somebody doesn't want. Between the two of you guys, Libra, somebody doesn't want the people on social media to know that y'all broke up or that y'all not talking. Or maybe you guys been saying stuff, posting stuff on social media, you know, something like that. So let's see what's going on with Libra. Let's pull a love message from Libra. Spirit, what does Libra need to know in here at this time when it comes to love? What is their overall love message? Reciprocate. Express shared feelings. Reciprocate. Let's see. All right. When we share our hopes, dreams, and the feelings, they generate in us with our partner in reciprocal ways. It makes them feel recognized and understood, which in turn encourages further openness and regular expressions of love. When you select this card, the angelic realm is reminding you of the benefits of receptivity. When your partner shares their feelings with you, take the opportunity to reciprocate. When you do this, you won't just double the good feelings. You will add to the level of love you share, which will deepen your relationship even more. So express your shared feelings. You and your person have a lot of shared feelings, you guys. Um, like your feelings are mutual you guys feel the same way about a lot of things and it's time for you guys to reciprocate it's time for you guys to both tell each other how you feel because there's a lot of things that like you guys have a lot of the same feelings okay but it's either been hidden and it's never been talked about or it's not it hasn't been addressed okay and now is a time to reciprocate. I said reciprocate 
<laughs> Y'all know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Love you, Libra. This is your reading, all right? Um, if you guys resonated, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. And if you guys would love to book, fireintuition.com. All right? I love you, Libra. Bye, loves.